everybody, welcome to Teresa's World. My next little adventure is, and I'm hoping because I haven't actually booked, um, is the Jacobite um, famous steam train, Fort William to Malag. I'm really excited about it. Um, it's described as the world's greatest railway journey. And also it goes over um, a viaduct and I am, I'm gonna take the van to the viaduct anyway to see it from, from the ground. But it will be amazing to go over this viaduct as well. And it's called the Glenfinnan viaduct. And um, that viaduct was made famous by the Harry Potter movies. So what I'm doing everyone is uh, walking from the campsite into Fort William. Just a straight road, straight through. So come get lost. <laughs> and um, it takes about 45 minutes. So I'm planning to get to the train station about half an hour earlier and um, hopefully get tickets on this train. difficult to do video footage on the train. Um, the window's a bit steamed up. I did try and get the viaduct as you can see um, and that didn't quite work. I'm going to introduce you to who I'm sat with um, on this wonderful journey. So, this is Gillian. Delia. Oh, Delia. 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 That's okay. Hey, it's better than Delilah. That's what most people call her. <laughs> and you are Patrick. Um, I think so. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Got that right. Got that one right. <laughs> and you are from New Orleans, Louisiana. Wow. Long way to home. Oh, that's a long way. I'd love to go there. Well, for the music, does. for the music, you everyone get the does. Food. <laughs> Whoa. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and next to me, <laughs> we are Ian. This is Peter. Yeah, hello. Oh, Peter, where are you from? Well, Leeds originally. No, where are you? Leeds originally. Brought up in Liverpool. <laughs> now I live in Brazil. In Brazil. Yeah. We're wondering how Peter got from Liverpool to Rio. Well, first of all, he went to university. Okay. Got himself a degree in anthropology. Okay. And his What's tutor. What's anthropology? What's that? And was a study of well originally. Sorry to be so dim. No, it was a, it was a sociology of non-Western society originally. Right. So, okay. Interesting to speak to the Brazilian cops. So I have to work out from Carnaby Street. Right. Whoa. This is the 1960s, late 1960s. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to see the cops. What? And then um, I got a job. So I packed up my video. Got in a boat. In them days, that would have been quite yeah. a journey to do, a big thing to do. You could, you, know, you, could. It, it, you could. I mean, surely. it was a cargo boat with 20 passengers. Well, right. And that's how I got to Brazil in the next day. I've now arrived at Malag. I'm going to have a walk around, uh, take some photos, and um, be back at the train for about, I don't know, about 42, I think.
if you want to see you something, don't let Teresa turn on the camera. As soon as I turn on the camera. Yeah. Thing, okay, my recommendation is chop the tops of all these trees. Oh, please. There shouldn't be any trees left in the world. So the and Vikings then, tried to make sure of that. And then what would we do? What would we do? Well, well we'd all die because we'd, we'd die because there'd be no oxygen. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Even I know that better. Yes, we all know it. We had to run to Oh, now there's a tunnel. Remember a time I turned this turned this what was that Scandinavian? No, turned this camera on. What was that Scandinavian lady who turned this on? Oh, um, oh, Greta. Greta, right. Greta Thunberg. So, yes. God. We're the oldies this side, we can't no, I think. think. No, I think, I think that... I think that oh, hold on, there's a view, I'm going to try and get it. Okay. 